Hello, welcome to another how-to episode from Rio. Today's how-to episode is about casting a spay rod and making a cast called a single spay. A dynamic, high line speed, great cast, probably though the most difficult spay cast of all to master. Before we look at how to do it, what's the why? When do you make this cast? Well, that's all about wind. When the wind blows upriver, which it is today, that's the perfect time to make a single spay. You never make a single spay with a downstream wind, it's too dangerous. So if I turn this way, the wind's coming this way, and I'm casting with my right hand, the wind will blow the line into me. That's why when the wind's going upriver, you make a single spay cast. So that's when to make it. Now let's have a look at how you do it. Let's go out and make a single spay cast. The single spay, the rod starts pointing across the river at an angle of about 35 to 40 degrees. It's the only spay cast that does. Everything else starts with the rod downstream. This one starts the rod about 35 to 40 degrees across. From that pointing position, the rod lifts vertically up. At the top of the lift, the rod dips down at about a 45 degree angle, levels out, climbs about 45 degrees up to the key position, the casting position. And then from the key position, you wait for the splash of the line landing, that's the splash and go, and then you make a forward stroke. That's the single spay. Sounds relatively easy, looks relatively easy, so hard, so hard. But there's a good way of picturing this. And this way is to imagine you're sitting in a cafe up in Switzerland, in the mountains of Switzerland, just enjoying some snaps, and you're watching these, all the skiers, and you happen to see some, some guy in a bright red jacket at the bottom of a cliff. And you're sitting with your buddy there in the cafe and you, you say, hey, look at that guy. And you point to the guy at the bottom of the cliff. You point to him. And as you watch, this man climbs the precipice all the way up to the top. And when he reaches the top of the precipice, he then skis down the mountain, an angle of about 45 degrees, and it levels out. And his inertia takes him up to the mountain behind him. And then he does a crazy thing. He jumps from the top of that mountain to the top of that mountain. That's the picture you have in your mind. That's the, the clearest way I've found to describe the path that this spay cast takes, the rod path. And all those attributes are very essential. The guy climbing the precipice, that's essential. The precipice is a vertical lift. The precipice is not a diagonal lift. That, in spay casting terminology, is called a drift lift. A drift lift is very bad. More on all of these problems in a moment. Drift lift is that. Vertical lift is that. All right? Big difference, huge difference in the result. The second thing to get from that is that this guy is skiing down a mountain the moment he has reached the top. Straight up, cut down. Okay, straight up, cut down. You're kind of drawing this sort of angle. There's the guy climbing straight up the mountain and here he is skiing down at a sort of a 45 degree angle. Straight up, 45 degree down. That's the perfect rod path. What you don't want is either the lift to be like this, that's the drift lift, or you don't want to go up and along before going down. That up, along, down, that is called Aussie style. Another problem. So what you're trying to do with a good single spay is you're trying to get an anchor that's about 45 degrees upstream of you, but a rod length away. There's my rod length, I'm making a little splash there. It's always good to try and understand where your anchor should be. On this cast, this is where the line should hit the water. So if you do that Aussie style, or that drift lift, if you do any of the mistakes, you'll find you get nowhere near that. Let's have a look at this one. Here's the drift lift. Again, see nowhere near the splash, completely off, off kilter and a bad cast as a result. And that's by drifting as you lift. There it goes upstream. Remember, it should be right here. So now let me show you the, a good single spay and you can kind of get an idea where that splash was. Point, lift, no drift, splash, right in the money. And that's because I didn't drift as I lifted, I went up straight. The other problem I mentioned, I showed you with the fingers, was this thing called Aussie style, where the rod goes along and dips. 
And what that does, that creates this bloody L, this thing called a bloody L, a huge L shape of fly line on the water. I'll pause on this cast so you can see it. Right, so I'll pause longer than the cast requires, but I just want you to see this bloody L. So up, a long dip. Do you see that L in the line? That L is the bloody L, and that means I don't have anything aligned with my target. I have some fly line pointing to the target. That part's great, but that hook tail isn't. That hook tail will suck all the energy out of the cast because it's not aligned. And that was caused by the Aussie style, by me going along at the top of the lift. So I'll show you it again. I'll complete the cast. I'll show you it again. You see, it won't go very well. Lift, along, dip. There's the L. See, the line doesn't want to come out of the water. Too much of an L shape on the water. Now I'll do that again correctly. All right, so I'll go up and at the top of my lift, immediately start the dip. Point lift, immediately dip. Look, the line lands right in the exact right spot. It's nice and straight, and the cast goes out. So those are your two commonest mistakes in the single spay. Either people tend to drift as they lift, or they get to the top of the lift, move along, and then put the dip and create that bloody L in there. So I, I hope you've spotted a couple of mistakes there that can aid you for watching your buddy out there or for when you're practicing your own casting in recognizing a few of the things that go wrong. There's a lot more that can go wrong, but you know, this film could be an hour long and I still wouldn't be able to cover all the mistakes in, uh, in the single spay cast. Just do remember it is the hardest spay cast there is to learn and it's going to take a lot of time. Hopefully we've got you on the right road to starting this single spay cast. Hopefully you enjoyed this and thank you very much for tuning in to another episode of our how-to videos.